I'm sure we all recognize this aisle. That is the Trader Joe's Frozen section, and today we're going to turn that into this. These are my top five frozen items from Trader Joe's. Now I'm going to be going through these in no specific order. So number five, we have the pork gyoza pot stickers. These are my go-to. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I pick these ones up or the chicken ones up uh, whenever they're in stock. Uh, they're only about four bucks and you get so much food. Absolutely incredible. I uh, like to dip them in the gyoza dipping sauce. I grabbed that as well. So uh, let's get into cooking them. So there's many ways you can cook these. You can steam them, you can pan fry them, you can do a combination of both. You can throw them in the air fryer. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a combo. I'm going to pan sear the bottom of them, get them a nice crispy, crispy bottom crust, and then we're going to steam them to finish them off. So I throw them in a medium high pan with some avocado oil. And as you can see, I'm flipping them all so that the bottoms are touching because that's, that's the part with the most surface area and I want to get that nice and crispy. As you can see, they're starting to get nice and crispy after a couple minutes. I'm just checking all the bottoms, making sure they're all getting crispy. Toss them around a little bit once you got that good crunch on the bottom. Then we're going to throw in about a tablespoon or two of water and cover it and let them steam and finish cooking. These look good to go. Now there's many ways you can prepare these. You can toss them in soy sauce while you're cooking them. You can use this gyoza dipping sauce. I also like the uh, sweet Thai chili dipping sauce are great with these. These are just so versatile, a great snack, great dinner. I definitely recommend them. As you can see, we've got the crunchy bottom and the nice soft exterior. Inside is nice and hot, juicy, and delicious. All right, moving on to number four. We have the Trader Joe's Coconut Shrimp. These are another favorite of mine, so easy to make. I typically just throw them right in the air fryer, cook them up for a few minutes, and they're good to go. Great party snack, great appetizer. If you don't feel like cooking dinner, you can throw a couple of these in the air fryer or the oven and you're good to go. As you can see, they're already fully cooked. You just need to get that exterior nice and crispy. So I'm throwing my air fryer on max crisp at 450 degrees. You can probably do normal air fry at around 400. And I'm probably going to cook these for around 7 to 10 minutes, checking them halfway through. So when we pull these out, they are nice and golden brown, hot on the inside, absolutely delicious. You can dip these in the gyoza sauce, sweet Thai chili sauce I also like because it adds the sweetness to the coconut. And number three, we have these Chinese style pork buns. Now all of Trader Joe's Asian food is my favorite, especially in the frozen items. So for these, we're just going to cut them open, and these are super easy to cook. You just throw them on a plate, throw a damp paper towel over them, and then just toss them in the microwave for about a minute, a minute and a half. And the inside will get nice and hot. The outside is nice and squishy and soft and airy. They're absolutely incredible. As you can see, when we pull these open, they are steaming hot. So I'll be careful right when you pull them from the microwave, wait a couple minutes, maybe about a minute. You don't want them to get too cold. That 
That inside is nice and hot. The pork is sweet and salty. The outside is airy and delicious. That's why they're one of my favorites. Now we're going to move on to number two, and we have some more bao buns from Trader Joe's. These are the Philly cheesesteak bao buns. So we're going to go through the same process we did with the Chinese style pork buns. You're going to throw them on a plate, damp paper towel over them, into the microwave for about a minute, and then they're good to go. These ones have a totally different flavor than the Chinese pork ones. I would definitely recommend trying out both of them and see which ones you prefer. These do taste like a Philly cheesesteak on the inside and they are absolutely delicious. So we're going to move on to dessert for number one. Like I said earlier, this is no specific order. And we have the Trader Joe's Apple Blossoms. These are like a mixture of an apple pie and apple turnover. They're amazing. Throw a little bit of vanilla ice cream on top. They're a great dessert to finish off your meal. So for these, you're gonna preheat your oven. I'm using the toaster oven for 350 degrees. And you're just gonna to toss them in there for about 12 to 15 minutes. They're already fully cooked. You just wanna get it nice and hot and get that uh, exterior nice and crispy. We're gonna pull those out and they are ready to go. I haven't tried many of the Trader Joe's frozen desserts, but I have had these ones and they are absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10, recommend. And that's gonna wrap us up for my top five favorite Trader Joe's foods. As you can see, we have everything prepared here and it's, <clears throat> and it's a great spread of food. If you don't feel like going through the hassle of cooking a full meal and you wanna do some appetizers, this is a great option. Everything is so cheap, probably under $5. I'd say the coconut shrimp are probably 6 But uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.